Um, well, I say that it is, I think, quite a complicated matter, and that if you're going to take the little aspects that Nick has taken, you have to take other aspects too. I mean, for example, if you decide that you've got to move away from fossil fuels to alternatives, the alternatives will be more expensive. And that will mean that more people in the world will be poorer for longer. Now, that is a very big consequence. So what I find is uh, a number of assertions are made, and I think they're not sufficiently debated. One, that the world is getting warmer. You say there's scientific evidence for that. I say there's a lot of scientific evidence to say that the, war, that the world has been very warm at other periods. Second question is, is this all being caused by mankind? You say the science is clear. Other people say it's debatable. And the third thing is, even if it is getting warmer, and even if it's caused by man, um, do we need to put that right? Or should we assess what all the consequences of that are? I mean, some of the consequences uh, might be rising sea levels. Other consequences might be greater crop yields because of warmer climates. In across. Siberia. And for example, you might be able to cultivate areas that are not presently cultivatable. And then another issue would be, well, to what extent would you want to put this right by restraining people's behavior? Uh, and to what extent would you want to put it right by technological change, and how could you stimulate technolo technological change? And what's happening at the moment is people are assuming that it's been caused by man, and that it must be put right by restraint. And that plays to an agenda, which is there most of the time anyway, which is an anti-capitalist agenda and an authoritarian agenda. In other words, a whole lot of people who want to tell other people that the way they live their lives ought to make, ought to make them feel guilty and right. to change the way they live.